Assalamu alaikum halal family welcome to the channel beautiful people I hope you guys are having yourself a wonderful day guys today's video we're gonna check out the cost uh, and how it has uh, increased for the new Santara capital that's being uh, built so without further ado let's get started with this video Indonesia is marking its 79th Independence Day with ceremonies and events in the future capital city of Nusantara. Nusantara. The new city has been a landmark oh, construction project for outgoing President Joko Widodo, but it has faced construction delays and spiraling costs. Key government buildings are not finished and organizers had to cut the number of guests at the celebrations because there were not enough hotel rooms ready to house them. It was a big delegation, DW's 8,000. Ferdinand Himawan visited Nusantara on the island of Borneo to find out why the city is taking Borneo. so long to build and how the government plans to finance the rest of the project. Let's see how much they're going to say this over cost. Wow, the look at that beauty. The building its wings like an eagle. Yeah. The presidential palace is shaped like Indonesia's national emblem and sits right at the heart of the country's new capital, Nusantara, Nusantara. In eastern Borneo. Huge also. You can see the, the government from buildings, so far. the government's housing complex, and basic infrastructure are almost finished. Electricity and water lines have also largely been hooked up. Nice. The center of government will be built here. Also. That's the president's office in the shape of a Garuda bird. In front of it ah. is the presidential palace. Then government offices. By July 4th, construction was about 88% complete. 88%? Mm -hmm. Almost are those July Originally, 4th. the core Nusantara government complex was expected to be completed in July. Oh. President Jokowi had even planned July. to start work here weeks before the official move. Mm. But bad weather delayed construction. Yet, the government insists the first phase is still on schedule. It's a lot of work. President Jokowi is building his legacy with the new capital while he is still in power. But so far, this legacy rests on a couple of buildings and three quarters of the presidential palace. A lot now depends on money coming in from abroad. Yeah. The budget for the construction of Nusantara is about 30 billion US dollars. 30 billion? The plans to allocate wow. only 20% of the total from its national budget. It is relying on domestic and foreign investors to supply the rest. But so far, no foreign backers have stepped forward to fund this mega project. Without that money, it will be difficult, if not impossible, to continue construction. But most experts believe that the government will not stop the project. The option is to slow down. They're still using the state budget. The amount is very small. The process 20%. will be very slow, especially during the transition to the new government. It's not a total stop, but progress of the development is very, very slow. The stakes are high for the continuation of the new capital project. A lot of money has already been spent, but much more is still needed. For sure. While President-elect Prabowo Subianto has pledged to continue construction after Jokowi steps down, some question whether Nusantara will be one of the new president's priorities. Yes, inshallah. I hope it is. Putri is deputy head of DW Indonesia and is just outside Nusantara. I asked her why the government decided to move its capital. Yeah, it's the signature project of outgoing Frita. President Joko Widodo, who's decade in charge in Indonesia and has been defined by major infrastructure project. And um, Nusantara, the new capital it's behind beautiful. me, was claimed uh, to be 90% ready uh, in its first phase of construction and for the Independence Day celebration that finally took place uh, here in the first time today. Um, initially, the idea to build the new capital was announced back in 2019 by the president himself. Like five uh, years ago. But the idea behind it was not new because Jakarta, uh, the longtime capital of Indonesia, was afflicted by too many problems like uh, yeah. pollution, overpopulation, Sinking. severe traffic congestion, and worst of all, frequent flooding. So experts uh, predict that Jakarta uh, could sink uh, by 2050 uh, due to the excessive levels of groundwater um, to alleviate the, the water shortages. Mm -hmm. uh, in the meantime, uh, the capital or the old capital uh, continues to sink. And this move, of course, sink. Crazy as you point out, was a legacy project of the outgoing 
president. How important is it going to be to the new president? Jokowi. Yeah, just uh, five days ago, uh, Jokowi invited all of his ministers to have their first uh, cabinet meetings in the new capital. And Prabowo Subianto, uh, which is the president-elect of Indonesia, is, was also among Prabowo. them. And he firmly stated that he will continue this project uh, until it's completed. Uh, though you experts have to, you can't give up. that if Prabowo will continue this project, this could pose a really significant financial challenge uh, for his administration because the project cost has estimated around 32 billion euro and not a single foreign investor uh, has committed so far. And that is also why uh, it has sparked heavy criticism uh, to the projects because people think that uh, the project is lack of public input, it's not really transparent and it feels a little bit too ambitious. Um, especially when Indonesia facing economic challenges, like recently we have uh, mass layoffs. So explain to me, how will the government uh, turn things around financially? How is it going to actually foot the bill? Outside investors, the internal had talk investors. About, um, strong interest from the Japanese investors. Um, recently, during Jokowi's visit to United Arab Emirates, uh, there were discussions about investment in the new capital. Yeah, hopefully those and days. Jokowi too. also um, invited Singaporeans to live and to put their money in the new capital. But again, uh, again, there's no single uh, foreign investor uh, has really uh, invested their money uh, in the new capital. So now funding uh, really depends on the state budget and from local private investors. You heard from Peter Kusuma Putri, Deputy Head of DW Indonesia. Thank you very much. I'm surprised that the local um, YouTubers are not uh, getting involved and investing some of their money by buying property there that will help uh, the country. Like, I wish I was in that situation where I had that type of money. I would definitely help uh, the government because it's a good cause. It's for the future of the country. And uh, from initially at the beginning, what they said was that the project is costs around 30 billion and the government is only putting 20 percent, which is around like six billion. Uh, but even if they were to cover the whole 30 billion, it's not that much when you think about it, because um, Indonesia's, for example, like defense budget every year is like around 20 something. So they can, you know, probably do something and pull that money and, and put it together, even if they had to do it themselves. Uh, but, you know, Alhamdulillah, there's UAE there. Um, UAE is an option, maybe Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia, maybe not because they have so many of their own projects, but UAE and uh, other uh, Japan and then Singapore. So if you're from Singapore, you're able to, hey, uh, show some love, support the Indonesians. And inshallah, I think it'll, it'll uh, com get completed because there's a lot of money. There's a lot of time and planning has gone uh, into it. And I don't think the government is going to give up on it. So let me know what your, uh, you guys thought. What do you think of uh, the uh, new capital being moved? To Borneo, um, would you have agreed to keep it in Jakarta? And what about the the money? Do you think that uh, the government is going to be able to cover the whole cost, or do you think that uh, they would need outside uh, funding? And where do you think that uh, they could get those outside funding? So, um, if you have any updates about this project, also you can include in the uh, comment section. And as always, guys, thank you very much for all your love and support. I hope you guys have yourself a wonderful day. Take care of yourself and your family. Inshallah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. And we're still in.